Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to demonstrate how you can take advantage of custom lists in all versions of Excel. Excel 2010, Excel 2007, and Excel 2003. What are custom lists? Custom lists are an efficient way to accurately enter in data that you use on a regular basis. For example, built into all versions of Excel, we have custom lists for the months of the year. So in this cell, if I enter in January, for example, I can take advantage of Excel's autofill to quickly enter in the months of the year, quickly, efficiently, and with the spelling correct. Now let me show you how we can create a custom list. Let's just say that our manager likes to have the, these departments entered into all the reports in this order. We can create a custom list. First, we begin by typing in a contiguous block of the entries that we want to have on our custom list. And it doesn't matter whether we do that going across horizontally or vertically. What I suggest is that you enter them in, select them, and then make sure that you do a spell check. In Excel, we can use the F7, the Function 7 keyboard shortcut, to make sure that we have all of the entries spelled correctly. Now, where we go next is going to depend upon the version of Excel that we're using. I'm going to demonstrate three versions of Excel. Let's begin with Excel 2007. What we want to do is on the File tab of the ribbon in Backstage View, come down here into Options. On the Options tab in the Options dialog box, we want to select the Advanced tab and move almost down to the bottom. Now when you see the Edit Custom List, select that and you can see the built-in custom list, months of the year and days of the week, in abbreviated form as well as spelled out completely. Now remember we selected the list that we want to add as a custom list, so here we can see a reference to those cells, and now we just click Import and it's been added in to our custom list. Now this will work for all new workbooks or existing workbooks that we have in this version of Excel on this machine. So in Excel 2010, File tab of the ribbon, Options, and then over here on the Advanced tab, make sure that you drag down almost to the end and find the Edit Custom List. Now let me switch over into Excel 2007 and we'll follow something similar, but the procedures will be different at the very end. So now I'm going to switch over to Excel 2007 and what I want to do is show you that in addition to auto-filling to, to fill the months of the year, the auto list will come in handy when we're using a custom sort. Let's just say that, for example, somebody's come in here and they wanted to see this data set sorted with the top sales going down to the bottom sales. Well, that's great, but now what do we do when we want to get the months of the year back in chronological order? Well, you might think that what we'll do is we'll sort this field, this column, in ascending order. Well, it sorts in ascending order, right? But it's not what you want. It's sorting ascending in alphabetical sequence. So what we can do is we can take advantage of the custom list in our sort. This is Excel 2007. So what I want to do is I want to sort by month, but not on A to Z or Z to A. I want to sort using a custom list. Now remember with months of the year, we have the short version and the long version. In this case, we're using the short version of the month. So I want to select it, click OK, click OK, and there you go. Boy, that's going to save people a lot of time copying and pasting. Now, while I'll stay in Excel 2007, I'll show you another trick. In this case, let's just say that we want to have a custom list of all the letters of the alphabet. Now, of course, you could go through and type in the 26 letters of the alphabet, but let me demonstrate a different way to do that. We can take advantage of two functions, character and row. Did you know that uh, character 65 is the letter A? So for example, if I type in equals character, C-H-A-R, and I type in there a value, 65, I'm going to get capital A.
Now here's what I've done over here. I've taken advantage of the character function and also the row function. So if I type in here equals row, for the current row, and there are no arguments for the row uh, function, it's going to give me 1. So now do you see that character, what I want is I want character 65. I'm going to get, take advantage of that by using row 1 on my spreadsheet, which is going to give me the value of 1 plus 64 is going to return 65. So now I can autofill this down 26 rows and I have the 26 letters of the alphabet. Now that they're selected, what I can do in Excel 2007 to edit a custom list, it's slightly different than in Excel 2010. Go to the Office button and come down here into Excel Options. And this time on the Popular tab in the ribbon, we have the Edit custom list. So now I can add that in and I've already as you can see have that added in in my version of Excel 2007. So here's the reference to it and I'll just click cancel because I don't want to uh, overwrite it. So in Excel 2007 office button Excel options and on the popular tab edit custom list. And again, I would recommend that you take advantage of the uh, spell check, the F7 uh, keyboard shortcut for spell check. Alright, finally, let me come in and show you how to work with custom list in Excel 2003. So once again, I have a list. Make sure that I enter it in a contiguous block, vertically or horizontally. It really doesn't matter use the F7 keyboard shortcut. Now, of course, how I decide to spell these regions is going to be, you know, up to me. In this case, I'm going to say that I have them spelled correctly. I'm going to say ignore all. And in Excel 2003, go to the Tools menu, and then we want to open up the Options dialog box. So down here in the Options dialog box, you'll notice that it's a very convoluted list. So we want to come over here into the Custom list. It's selected. My group is selected. So now when I click Import, click OK, and there you go. So the nice thing about Custom list is that they will work on any worksheet, any workbook, on your computer for that version. So for example over here I think I had North uh, East as one of the regions and now I can take advantage of autofill in any direction. I can autofill going across horizontally, going across vertically, I can increment it or I can go backwards in the list. And that will work on your machine for that version of Excel. So there you've learned a valuable tip. I'm going to continue this series to show you how we can take advantage of the autofill features for incrementing numbers and text as well as using the custom list for our autofill. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.